Hello, welcome to our first Arch Reads. We'll be sharing books that we think will help young people of all ages to understand how we can learn about each other. Today we'll learn about a little boy who wants to know why others may think being black is not a good thing. So we chose this book so together we can learn how it's okay to ask questions when we don't understand why some people think it's not okay to like those who have black or brown skin. So let us begin. Grandpa, is everything black bad? It's dark, black, and scary in my bedroom at night. So I hide under the covers when dad turns out the light. I like watching TV, but sometimes I'm sad because most white things are good and most black things are bad. People wear the color black. When somebody dies, they look very sad and have tears in their eyes. Grandpa, is everything black bad? Grandma says, hide in the bush when a black cat walks by because they bring bad luck to those that they eye. Aunt Barbara says my skin is darker than most others. She calls me the black sheep of the family because I look different from my brothers. I saw a fire burning in the forest one day. It made the trees turn black and the animals run away. Grandpa, is everything black bad? I think witches are scary. Flying their brooms in crooked hats, they almost look ugly, and they always wear black. I like hitting baseballs with my friends, Ronnie and Ty. One day, I ball hit Jasmine's face, and she got a black eye. Black widow spiders are dangerous and quick. They have poison in their bites, and they can make people sick. Tell me, Grandpa, is everything black bad? I'm black. So does that make me bad too? Hmm. I reckon I can understand the way you feel, Manchu. Grampy never did stop to think about all those things in this world that are the color black that seem bad. Maybe that's why so many children are ashamed of their beautiful dark skin. You young and think all dark things must be no good. So it's true, huh, Grandpa? Everything black is bad, Manchu whispered sadly. Now, you wait just a minute, little man. You ain't bad, and neither is the color black. You just get that kind of thinking out of your head. It's folks who decide what colors mean to them. Why? I love the color black and think it's just one of the most beautiful colors in the whole world, Grandpa said firmly. You do, Grandpa? Manchu asked, surprised. Yep, I do, little man. Almost as much as you love your gram Grandma's gumbo soup. You see, Manchu, it ain't the color of someone's skin that makes them feel good or bad. It's what's inside their hearts that counts. The more love you get from your heart, the better. The better you are as a person, no matter what people say or do. You understand? Manchu nodded. You also have something else inside you that's very important. I do? Manchu said curiously. Yes. Yep, you do, little man. You have a heritage, a very, very proud heritage. Heritage, Manchu wondered, wrinkling his face. What's heritage? mean grandpa a heritage is our past it's where we come from it's the traditions and the things that are important to us and our family who lived before us our heritage is Africa Manchu Africa Manchu said valley I'm not African I don't live in Africa 
No, but your ancestors did live in Africa a long time ago. And the spirit of Africa is within us no matter where we live. Africa is also where a lot of important things happen that have helped people all over the world. Even today, you and I still have African blood in our bodies. That's why we look like the black Africans who still live there. So why does everyone call me black then? Why don't they call me African? Hmm, I don't know, Mancho. Black folks have always been called so many different names over the time that maybe people aren't sure what we should be called anymore. Some folks say we should be called one thing and some say we should be called another. All Grampy knows is that us grown up folk got to be careful when we let our youngins be called. What our youngins be called, especially if it makes them feel bad. We also have to teach y'all about your heritage. What do you like people to call you, Grandpa? Why, that's simple, little man. They can start by calling me by the name my mama gave me when I was born, Rufus. I didn't know your name was Rufus, Manchu said, tickled. That's because to you, I'm just plain old Grampy. If someone calls you black, do you feel bad, Grandpa? No, Manchu, I don't. You see, when I was a young and just like you, my grandfather taught me about our African heritage and our history. He gave me a special bamboo drum, and as he played it, he told me stories from our past. Those stories made me feel mighty proud of my African heritage and the dark color of my skin. Could you play the drum for me now, Grandpa? Manchu yelled excitedly. Could you please? The old man looked at Manchu's big black eyes and smiled. He took Manchu by the hand into a special room in the back of the house. The room was beautiful, flowing with colors of black, gold, purple, red, and green. Beautiful African scenes were painted on the walls and masks and pots were laying on the floor. It looked like an African kingdom with a straw hat inside. Within the hut was a large red bamboo drum. It looked magical. Manchu's grandpa set him on the floor and began to slowly beat the drum with his large old hands. Close your eyes, little man, grandpa whispered. Feel the love you have in your heart as I play. Listen, and you'll see pictures in your head as the drum tells you a story about our heritage and history. So Manchu closed his eyes and listen as Grandpa beat the drum. After some time, the drum beat sounded like voices to Manchu. Boom, 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 boom. The drum began to talk. Africa is beautiful and so are its native people with their beautiful dark black skin. Her lands have great animals like lions, giraffes, and elephants. Africa is where our ancestors' lives began. Africa's land is naturally rich with lots of diamonds and gold, with deserts and rainforests throughout her regions. Africa is beautiful to behold. Africans built the mighty pyramids and used some of the earliest tools. They developed writing, mathematics, astronomy, and religion. Even the Greeks came to study at their schools. The Nile River, the longest in the world, was home to the early farms. There were queens and kings in African lands. Africans made medicines to keep people from harm. Africans made calendars a long time ago that today would still be right. They had clocks like the sun, like the sundial they used in the day and the water clock they used at night. Africa
Americans had writing, the Greeks called hieroglyphics, which used pictures in places of words. Africans were proud and made important contributions that have helped people all over the world. Be proud of your dark skin. It represents a proud people. And black is a truly a beautiful color. It was passed down to you by Africans who lived before and your heritage is like no other. Mostly, be proud of the love in your heart and all you have within. It's the love that you share with people around you that matters the most in the end. The drum kept talking to Mancho. Boom, boom, boom. Be proud of your black skin and the love you have within and remember your heritage is African. Be proud of your black skin and the love you have within and remember your heritage is Africa. Be proud of your black skin and the love you have within and remember your heritage is African. At last, the drum stopped beating. Mancho opened his eyes and gave his grandpa a big, strong hug. That was beautiful, Grandpa, Mancho cried. I saw pictures in my head. I saw Africa. Please, can we play the drum again? I want to know more about our past and our African heritage. I want to hear that drum talk again. Mancho's grandfather put his arm around the little boy and said gently, that's enough for today, little man. Grandpa's old bones need to rest. Besides, it's very important for you to remember what you have learned today. Don't worry, Grandpa. I won't forget what that drum said ever, Manchu said proudly. Now that's the kind of talk and Grampy likes to hear from his little man. Makes an old man like me feel real good. Grandpa, can I ask you something else? Manchu asked softly. What's that, Mancho? Do white people have a heritage? Yes, they do, little man. All people do. That's what's their, that's what's their heritage, asked Manchu. Well, it depends on where they come from in the world, little man. A lot of white people's ancestors in this country came from Europe, so their heritage is European. What's European, Grandpa? That's a whole other story that Grandpa will have to tell you some other day. Don't you worry, don't worry yourself none though. We'll have plenty of time to learn about your African heritage and all the others in the world. Let's learn a little more about your own heritage first and then it will be easier to learn about all the others. Grandpa, yes little man, I love you. You always make me feel good. I love you too, Grandpa said looking at the drum still in the middle of the room. You just remember the dark color of your skin and your African heritage is a good thing, a very good thing indeed. You know, that's the end of our story. What a beautiful story it was. And last, I just want to read the person about the person who wrote this wonderful book, her name is Miss Sandy Lynn Hallman. And she wanted to honor her grandfather. And she simply said, because you taught me who I was by teaching me my history, I learned very young to love myself and to accept everything that is me. We hope that you enjoyed the book that we decided to start our Arch Reads. We look forward to having you back again. And until we meet again, please, whatever you do, appreciate who you are because you are special all by yourself.